audio cinema school. So today I will be vlogging about my assignment that teacher JB gave me, which is about applications of physics at home. Enough with the introduction, let's start now. So the first example that I chose is the alarm clock. The alarm clock produces a ringing noise which has high frequency to wake us up in the morning, like this. So, the application of physics that is related to the alarm clock is wave physics acoustics. So, the second example I chose is about walking. Walking is an activity that we do in our daily life and as you can see, I was doing it before. Walking is an application of physics which is related to Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion states that any time a force acts on an object to another, there is an equal force acting back on the original object. Therefore, the reason why our body is moving forward when we are walking is because our legs are pushing the ground. Hence, there is an equal force acting back on it and our body moves forward or backward depending on which direction we are walking. So, the third example that I chose is the battery. Battery is one of the things that we use to make our lives easier by supplying electric energy without the use of cables. The application of physics that is related to the battery is the law of conservation of energy, where the battery stores energy in form of chemical and when it's connected to a circuit, it will, change, it will be converted to electrical energy. For example, this TV remote controller. There's a circuit inside and when, it, when the battery is connected, it will convert the chemical energy inside the battery to electrical energy. And after the TV remote controller is powered up, it will send signals such as electromagnetic waves to give the TV commands such as turning on the TV and turning off the TV. The fourth example that I chose is the doorknob. Doorknob uses physics to make it easier to open, which is torque. The handle is long and the axis of rotation is greater. Torque equals to force times radius. So the doorknob is designed to be placed further away from the hinge right here to make the axis of rotation maximized. Therefore the force that is used is lesser. So that's it for my vlog. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit the like.